at the end of this lesson, you should be able to apply the exploratory keyword search strategy to retrieve a comprehensive range of information for your coursework or research via simple keyword search strategy in OPAC, ebooks, e-journal and internet. For your postgraduate studies, you would be required to read very widely, not only during your coursework, but also when you undertake your research project. It is very seldom that you would be given reading lists to see you through your master's or PhD program. You will find that searching for relevant literature and reviewing its content is an integral part of your postgraduate studies. At that level, you will find that fixed field search strategies are no longer suitable nor comprehensive enough for you. So for this part two, exploratory search strategy, we shall look at a search strategy that allows you to explore and investigate the literature or resources available. In postgraduate studies, we use keyword search strategy because it is an exploratory search. Do you know what is meant by keyword search strategy? Keyword search strategy is searching for information in the electronic environment using words. Concepts and ideas of research are translated into words because in order to communicate with a computer, we use words as the computer only searches for words and character strings. How does keyword search work? The keyword search method recalls or retrieves whatever information that matches the words or terms in any field of a record including searching the authors, titles, series, subjects, notes and in the full text. A large number of items will be retrieved, including irrelevant ones, so more information will be retrieved, but less accurately. The keyword search strategy is usually used when you have to search for a wide range of unspecified materials. It is especially useful for postgraduate students when they perform a literature review for their research projects, for their thesis, dissertation, practicum, case studies, etc. What are the steps in keyword search strategy? The first step is to analyze your research problem. The second step is to identify main issues and sub-issues in your research topic. The third step is to formulate into research statement. The fourth step is to identify concepts and ideas in your topic. The fifth step is to translate concepts and ideas into keywords, compiling words and phrases. The sixth step is to apply search strategy using keywords in simple keyword search and advanced keyword search using Boolean, etc. Analyze research problem. For example, your research problem is to study the impact of globalization on the developing economies, particularly on the Malaysian market. Can you identify and formulate a research statement from the research problem? The research statement would be globalization and its impact on the Malaysian market. This can be divided into main issues and sub-issues. As a postgraduate student, you are required to do a research paper. When you have a research topic, you must analyze the topic and identify the concepts and keywords in order to find the information resources easily. Let's see one example of a research topic as shown in the screen. Find four concepts in this topic. Click on the words that identify as a concept.
we have identified concepts of the research topic given. Based on the concepts, we have compiled the keywords for each concept. The table below shows the concept and keywords of the research topic. Please note that knowledge of subject area will help you identify concepts or keywords more accurately. Now, we can begin our search for information using the keywords that we have compiled. How do you conduct your search for information using the keywords? Keyword search in two main methods. Simple keyword search, advanced keyword search. Where do you apply the keyword search strategy? We shall apply the keyword search strategy in OPAC, ebooks, e-journals, and the internet. In this section, we will show you how to use the simple keyword search in OPAC. Your research topic is about globalization, and you would like to know what books the library has in this topic. How will you search for it? Firstly, you need to log in to the OUM Library homepage. Select the keyword search. Go to the drop-down menu, select anywhere, as we are not specifying the field, and type globalization and click search. Then, you will see the results of the simple keyword search, globalization, displayed. If you want to review the steps, please click replay. Now, let's take a look at how to use the simple keyword search in ebooks. We will use eBrary as an example. Firstly, you need to log in to the OUM library homepage. Look at the list of ebooks on the left hand side and select eBrary. This graphic shows you the eBrary database screen search. Type globalization and click search. Then you will see the results of the simple keyword search for globalization displayed. If you want to review the steps, please click replay. Similarly, you can do a simple keyword in eJournal. We will use the Emerald database as an example. Firstly, you need to log in to the OUM library homepage. Look at the list of eJournal on the left hand side and select Emerald. The second graphic shows you the Emerald database search screen. Type globalization and click go. Then you will see the results of the simple keyword search for globalization displayed. If you want to review the steps, please click Replay. In this lesson, you have learned that keyword search strategy is searching for information in the electronic environment using words. There are six steps in keyword search strategy, which are analyze research problem, identify main issues and sub-issues, formulate research statement, identify concepts and ideas, translate into keywords, apply search strategy. Simple keyword search can be applied in OPAC, ebooks and e-journals. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to apply the exploratory keyword search strategy to retrieve a comprehensive range of information for your coursework or research via Advanced Keyword Search Strategy in OPAC, ebooks, e-journals, and Internet. What is Advanced Keyword Search Strategy? Advanced Keyword Search is when keywords are combined to include or exclude terms to widen or narrow your search by means of Boolean operators. What are Boolean operators? Using Boolean operators is a search technique based on the principle of Boolean logic. 
The use of Boolean logic in Boolean operators allows you to specify what keywords you want to include in your search and how the computer should perform the search. For example, globalization and Malaysia and marketing or trading and labor, not foreign. In this section, we will learn about advanced keyword search using the Boolean operator AND. As you can see on the screen, the keywords are globalization and Malaysia. Using the Boolean AND will eliminate all the general information on globalization and will select only information on globalization and Malaysia. Here, we will learn about advanced keyword search by using the Boolean operator OR. As you can see on the screen, the keywords are marketing and trading. When the search results are too few, use the Boolean connector OR to connect the keywords. This will broaden your search and increase the amount you find. Use synonyms. For example, marketing or trading, labor or worker. This will broaden your search and increase the number of hits. Next, we will learn about advanced keyword search by using the Boolean operator NOT. As you can see on the screen, the keywords are labor and foreign. Boolean operator NOT is used to exclude certain items and reduce the number of hits from the search results. The documents must not contain the term that comes after NOT. The table shows a summary of the functions of Boolean operators AND, OR and NOT. Let's take a look at an example of advanced search using the Boolean AND in Ibrary database. The first graphic shows you the results of a search for globalization, which is 2,401 books. In the second graphic, when the Boolean operator AND is used, it gives a reduced result of 995 books only. Therefore, when you use the Boolean operator AND, it will narrow down the search and give fewer but more relevant results. If you want to review the steps, please click Replay. This is an example of advanced search using the Boolean OR in eJournal database Emerald. Select Emerald from the list of eJournal database and click Advanced Search. Then type the keyword Labor. The third graphic shows you the results of the search for labor alone. It shows that there are 11,752 items on labor in Emerald. In the fourth graphic, we use Boolean OR. Type the search for labor in the first box and from the drop-down menu, select OR and type Worker in the second box. Then, click Search. The search for Labour or Worker would show an increase in number of hits from 11,752 to 13,805 items. Therefore, when we use the Boolean operator OR in searching for information, it will increase the hits. 